Afaday people of Guam, my name is Carl Pengelinen, Administrator for the Guam Economic Development Authority. Today I'd like to present something that we've been very eager to present um, for many days now, and it's our 2011 Government of Guam Tax Refund Financing Program. What I'm going to talk to you today is uh, about today is just really a brief summary of what the program is. I want to answer a few questions on why we need to do this now. I want to go into a little bit of detail about the uh, specifics of the program and wrap it up with some graphs that show exactly how we plan to get the money that we owe to you back in your hands. Moving on to the summary, here are some of the facts. Quite simply, our program plans to pay 100% of the accumulated tax refunds, unpaid tax refunds from 2011 and prior. Some of the concerns that we received are, are we going to be in the situation again? What about 2012 and future? What's going to happen in the future? Our program addresses that and will ensure that you're paid your tax refunds back on a timely basis and on a current basis. And point number three, can we afford this? We, we're going to showcase that the government actually has the capacity to handle this debt service in the coming years. The big questions, why now? Number one and foremost, this could be a slide on its own. This is the people's money, not the government's money. For far too long, we've held on to this money, we've barred against this money, we barred against your money, and we need to do our part to get it back into your hands. Number two, it supports the first point. The people need, people want, and people deserve their money immediately. Point number three, there's obvious economic benefits to injecting $311 million back into our economy through the people's hands. Point number four, again, the time to strike is now. Interest rates are historically at their all-time lows. And point number five, this question, this answers the question, people are concerned that the U.S. economy has been downgraded. There's global uncertainties in terms of the markets um, around the world. Well, with that, this makes bonds a more attractive rate to investors. It's a safe haven investment and people flock to bonds when the market is uncertain. Now I'd like to get into the, the nuts and the bolts of our program. The 2011 financing consists of these components in, in terms of paying off the tax refund. We've calculated that the unpaid tax refunds for 2011 and prior total $350 million. $245 million is the pace that we will get to with our current payments toward tax refunds, and that number is projected as of December uh, of this year. $105 million is the provision that's been set aside for the 2011 tax refunds. That totals $350 million. Our proposed bond, the total borrowing will be $343.7 million, 311 of which will be net proceeds to go toward paying these unpaid tax refunds. This third column basically shows that this is really the only plan, at least that we've seen, that's been put forth that will address and, and, certain and for certain pay for 100% of all the 2010 and prior tax refunds by December. You ask, well, there's, there's still a balance remaining. And yes, there's still a $38.4 million balance. Now, the ACTC provision on reimbursement essentially for us to realize this reimbursement, we need to first pay the refund out. So once we pay the refund out, we will realize a $30 million, uh, approximately $30 million reimbursement with the ACTC program, thus bringing this $38.4 million balance all the way down to $8.4 million. This next slide shows and answers the question about what are we going to do about staying current and taking care of all of our future obligations in terms of tax refunds. The first column here, again, shows that for that $8.4 million balance is carried over. We have provisions set in for 2012 and 2013 at 105 and $109 million, respectively. Those provisions are already on the books as provisions, and so it's addressed here, totaling $214 million, which, again, leaves that $8.4 million balance. There's a number of ways that we can knock out this final $8.4 million. Um, we can go back to the market for uh, a future financing. Um, we can realize $8.4 million in budget savings, or we can realize an $8.4 million increase in revenues. Um, again, there's a number of ways to address that final little bit 
to get us all the way back, back to zero. The big question now is how much is this going to cost us? Well, again, the way that we've structured this is that there's a capitalized interest component which frees up debt service. We don't have to be paying for this loan until 2014. Come 2014, I want to add that there's also some other loans that we have on the books that will have matured by then, freeing up close to thr $13 million a year uh, that we're currently paying. So come 2014, we've escalated the debt service to start out at a lower rate, uh, roughly about $10 million. For the next two years, it would be roughly about $19 million until 2017 when we start paying level debt service of $25.6 million until the end of the term. And that's our simple plan to get all of the tax refunds back in your hands. So, Dusmasi.